looking good. So the other tool that I make great use of in basically every long form PDF that I create is something called a bookmark. And a bookmark looks, uh, works a lot like a hyperlink does. If I go to the left hand side of my screen, I'll notice that on the left hand side I have the pages panel which allows me to see a thumbnail of all the pages of the PDF that I created, but it only shows me the full pages. It doesn't give me any idea of what the content of those pages happens to be. and doesn't let me know why I should go to page number five. Now, as you can see in this PDF, I've created a little table of contents up here at the top that allows people to navigate to the different elements they might need to uh, see first. But if they didn't want to use this table of contents, it would be a good idea to have a system of labeled elements in this left-hand panel that let people know exactly what they were going to see when they got there. This is where the next button down in this left-hand panel, your bookmark button, comes into play. As you can see, there are no bookmarks currently in my PDF. And in the same way as my hyperlinks, it creates a bookmark at the location and also the zoom level that you set up when you're deciding to add a bookmark. So if I decided that I wanted to add bookmarks for each of the different elements in my newsletter, for example, I would find a specific area, a specific zoom level that worked for me. Let's see, is 75% right? Let's go 85%. Perfect, okay. So I think being able to zoom in on a note from Neil at 85% is the right level for me. And what I'll do is once I've got that set up, I'll click on the little uh, bookmark icon with the plus sign on it on the left-hand side. And uh, it just enters a new bookmark that's not currently titled. And I'll just go ahead and put in letter from the editor like that. Then I'll move on to the second page. On the second page, I think I need to be zoomed out a little bit farther. So I'll get to this level right here maybe and do a new bookmark for new training solutions. Again, next page, maybe a new bookmark by clicking the plus sign here and doing transpose rows and columns. But an interesting thing happens on pages three, four, and five here. On page three, it's an Excel uh, tutorial. On page four, it's an Excel tutorial. And on page five, it's an Excel tutorial. So maybe I want to create a system here that allows people to see where they're going. Instead of just saying transpose rows and columns, I'll go to the transpose rows and columns area here, make a new bookmark, and I'll call this one Excel Tutorials. And then I'll actually click and drag transpose rows and columns directly underneath Excel tutorials, nesting it underneath Excel tutorials. Do you see that little line that shows up there? Do you see how the little tiny arrow is just indented? By dragging it to this location, now transpose rows and columns is subordinate to my Excel tutorials. In the same way, I'll click the, drop down, uh, click the down arrow to go on to concatenation. I'll make a new bookmark called concatenate. But you, you can see here that concatenate is not currently on the same level with transpose rows and columns. You can see that concatenate is farther to the left. That's because concatenate is not nested underneath Excel tutorial. So I take a second here and I drag concatenate directly underneath Excel tutorials to nest it underneath there. And then I repeat one more time for some ifs. Make a doom bookmark, type in some ifs. And as you can see there, now I have a system called Excel Tutorials with a subset with transpose rows and columns, concatenate, and some ifs. So I can create bookmarks that take me to a zoomed in level on a particular page or to a full page. And then I can create bookmarks that take me to different pages, but have sections labeled very clearly in the bookmarks themselves. 
Lastly, I'll polish this up by going to the calendar, zoom in on the calendar, go to the perfect PDF webinar here, there we go, and make a new bookmark. PDF webinar, scroll down, new bookmark, Sway webinar, scroll down, new bookmark, PowerPoint webinar. Yet again, it might be a good idea to have a section here with upcoming calendar and the subordinate bookmarks. So I can zoom out just a bit here, have the full page in front of me, make a new bookmark and call this one upcoming events and have the PDF webinar subordinate to that by clicking and dragging, the Sway webinar subordinate to it by clicking and dragging, and the PowerPoint webinar subordinate to it by clicking and dragging. And so within my PDF, I have a letter from the editor, new training solutions, Excel tutorials, and upcoming events. And if I go into any one of those sections, I can get to a specific page within that section or a specific element within that section.